Hundreds have gathered outside Peter Chief Magistrate Court in Mgondo, Mpumalanga. It's alleged that the four shot and killed two men at a farm in Dikrasdop on Friday. The four suspects are aged between 25 and 53 years. It's believed the deceased were among other men who went to the farm seeking employment as seasonal workers. Mgondo streets were shut down as hundreds gathered in support of the Ngoka family. They're calling for justice for Amos and Zezeka Ngoka. They were aged 36 and 39 respectively. Three other people were injured. The four men are expected to apply for bail. Well, for more on this story, we cross to our reporter, Tumelo Mashoho, who is outside the court. Thanks very much for joining us, Tumelo. We keep on saying that uh, the men are expected to appear in court. Have they appeared yet? What's happening where, are you, where you are? <laughs> Well, no, the men have already appeared in court. The four men appeared just briefly in court, just uh, here in Petri Tief. The case has been postponed now to the foot, to rather next week, Monday, to allow the, the, the investigators and also the police to do their investigation and to finalize their investigation. They are only left with the, the ballistic uh, uh, report that they still need to be, to be given to, 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 to they, they need to be given to rather to, to the investigator and also to be given to the court, but also so hundreds and hundreds of people have been gathering here since this morning trying actually just to say that they don't want bail for these four men that have been accused of killing uh, Zizaka and uh, also Amos uh, um, Amos Koga. But also we spoke to the brother of Amos Koga who actually told us that you know they've lost their breadwinner at home and they lost their breadwinners at home. But I'll try and get activists, the people that are, have been coming to the court that have been listening to, to the court cases and also just to get their views about this court case and that they just talk to us about this case we have seen this case and it's uh, you know have attracted a lot of attention especially here in p why is that so uh, it is so because uh, a li living conditions of farm workers in this uh, province uh, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a living hell. It's, it's tantamount to that of a pig. Black people in this province, black, black work, uh, farm workers in this province, are on a perpetual state of childhood. We, have, we came here as Black Forum South Africa. We are equal to Afri Forum. We are in a, in a in a fact finding mission. Some of the farm workers here are saying they don't even have clean drinking water. They are saying that there are a lot of farm workers who disappeared in the farms in this province. The rule of law does not apply to the farmers in this. I can tell you that since 1959, the potato boycott uh, by the farm workers here. Today we came here again where the farmers are killing farm workers, black farm workers, as flies, my brother. So we are here to show a human face to the bereaved family, to say that you are not alone. But more so, we are here to affirm you know, uh, the dignity of blackness, to say black, black people are human beings black people must actually be protected by the rule of law and the fundamental human rights in this count in this country okay what what do you guys want to see as a, as, a, as people that are also activists what do you guys want to see especially with this case because we people have been saying that there have been a number of cases that have gone unreported and the case have also been dropped by the by the courts but what do you guys want to see because the case has already now been postponed to monday and now that's when the case actually the, the formal bail application will take place yes Thank you, my brother. We, I must be honest with you, we are very saddened by the outcome of the court. Uh, the Black Forum South Africa were here to make sure that the court takes a decision that will favor the, the community. We want justice as we are here. We are here also to, 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 to sympathize with the family. We are in solidarity with the family to show black love. Uh, we are going to monitor. Also, they say the court is postponed until Monday. We are going to monitor and ensure that justice is that with our lawyers we have our advocates here who are here to ensure and to oversee everything we are not going to rest until a decision is done that uh, the, the community of mukondo uh, got justice from uh, uh, the matter thank you okay thank you so much that's what they're calling for they're calling for justice they are ensure, to ensure that the people that have lost their lives here they get justice from what is going on out here but also the court inside court uh, uh, no 
Kompu. Uh, you know, we've seen one of the suspects that actually the accused that appeared in court. Also, he's saying that he was injured also during that incident. When the incident happened, you remember that there were like a, a, a group of men that went into the farm. They were asked to leave the farm. That's when uh, everything uh, ensued. And then uh, three or two of them were shot and one uh, others were injured and taken to hospital. We know about three people that have been taken to hospital when they were injured on that day, on that uh, on that Friday. And then uh, um, this also here, one of the accused also said that he was injured during during that uh, incident that uh, that happened uh, during the, uh, that day. But they're saying that uh, the the lawyers for these three um, uh, this, these four men rather they are saying that they are not flight risk. So they they were asking actually for bail today. But then the 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 the, the prosecution is saying that they cannot give them bail now because they cannot proceed with the bail application as they still had to 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 get the ballistic report to ensure that when they begin with the bail application that they know that the the the, the bullets that killed those two men come from those guns that were confiscated by the police on that Friday number. Jamelo, surely it would be safer for them not to actually get bail because, of course, there's a lot of anger and you can see that from the crowds that you're among. Well, indeed, because that's what actually what the lawyer was saying that their lives of, of these uh, of these four men are going to be in danger if like they are, are let, let out, and also the fact that the, that uh, the community here is such a small community, so they're saying that everyone knows everyone. So if these men are being let out, especially the the prosecution is saying that if these men are let out, the community is angry, and we've seen hundreds and hundreds of people coming here to actually to support the families of these two men of that that were killed on on on. Friday and also these people here they're saying that they don't want they don't, you know they're carrying uh, uh, guns uh, you know like a, a, almost like a, a imitation of guns so they're saying that they are angry because they it's not a first incident they're saying that incidents such as this one they continue to happen in this community so they want justice and also they're saying that the community they were saying that uh, saying that they don't want bail for these men they want them to be in jail until the the, the, the finalization of this court case Mello, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for that, Dumele Mashoho, reporting from Mkondo.